Hey, it's okay. Each day is new, different, and unexpected. Even though all these changes are happening, you don't have to face it alone. Whoa, Kelsey, what happened to you? I don't want to talk about it. Where's Mortimer? And I'm usually the smelly one of the group, but you got a real pungency coming off of you. I'm having a bad day, and everything is terrible! But why? Why is everything so terrible? I told you! I don't want to talk about it! I, I know you don't, but maybe it will help. Well, for starters, I tried to kick a stop sign, then I fell into the mud! I was just mad at myself because I ran out of the house and ran into the recycling bed! I was running out of the house because Mortimer was sick! <gasps> I accidentally fed him too much bird seed and he pooped on my head. He's okay, I just, I felt really mad at myself for making his tummy hurt. A little better! <gasps> A hamster! Hey! That's my grandma's cookie, you monster! After that hamster! <laughs> Quick, let's split up! Don't eat me! <sighs> it's just a cat. Don't worry, they only eat little stuff like bugs or birds or. Oh. So we found the hamster? <gasps> well, you're not gonna believe it, but I found her owner! But Kelsey, I... Just bring her here! Cookie, what are you doing in that box? Oh, son. I am so, so sorry, son. You don't need to say anything. You know, son, I'm no stranger to loss myself. I've had many Mortimers before this one, but something that helped me was sharing memories about him. Because in our memories, our pets live forever. So to honor a beloved pet hamster, let's share our fondest memories of Cookie. I want my old Cookie, and I want this feeling to be over! And I don't want to be alone! A sunflower? Cookie loved sunflower seeds. <laughs> Cookie was my best friend. And now I'm all alone. Well, I don't know much about flowers, but maybe I could help you take care of it. That would be cool. Waterfall's just up ahead, Craig. Wait until he sees the jump that I'm gonna do when we get there. Wait, jump? I told you that earlier, didn't I? Oh, right, right. I remember. Yeah, I wanna jump. You know, Craigie be jumping. <laughs> um, okay. Why'd you do that, Craig? You're embarrassing yourself. You all right? I don't even know why I'm here. I'm not some, some super strong thrill seeker like the rest of you. I'm excited that I got asked to hang with you, even if it's just to map this trail. But I just feel like I don't fit in, like I'm not worthy of hanging with the champions. All right, your mapping skills above average, okay? But the guys, they didn't invite you just to map the trail. They like you for who you are and wanted to hang out with you. You don't have to eat some pine cone or jump off a waterfall to prove that you're something you're not. Anyone who makes you feel like you have to impress them aren't good, real friends. Trust me, Craig. Just be yourself and your big matte melon head will be fine. Oh, thanks, Maya. My guy in advanced math makes me feel like we should be an advanced parent, huh? Right. You feeling good about it? I guess things have been pretty hard in math lately. Oh? I've been learning stuff I've never learned before. Yeah? Just tell me what's going on with you. There's this huge water balloon fight in the creek. I wanted to be there to help my friends. I'm good at helping my friends. But I was taking so long on my math because this new math is really hard. I'm glad I'm in this class, but it's just harder and I'm not used to it. Hey, hey. Sounds like you got a lot going on. 
Math is tough, and the math you've got is even tougher. That's the challenge of being smart. But you know, the things you miss out on help you appreciate the things you're able to see. Your dad and I, we miss out on a lot of things watching you kids grow up. We just want to know what's going on sometimes. You're a busy guy, and we miss you. That's all. Okay. Whether in death or in life, you're the one I long for by my side. That was really beautiful, Kelsey. You really write a compelling story. Ah, <laughs> come on, Stax. The characters just feel so much like you and Stax. We didn't even notice it when we were writing it. Kelsey pondered her literary predicament. Were Kelsey and Stax like fire and ice? Would that be okay? What if people think it's me? It's okay if it is. Good writers write what they know. Writing is vulnerable. Writing is sharing. This story is a part of you, and you shouldn't hold back any beautiful part of yourself. This was so much fun, Kels. I hope we can continue writing stories together. Yeah, I love that. I like writing these stories with you, but I really love being able to hang out and spend more time with you, cause I, 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 I like you. Whether in the pages of a book or in the time we share together, you're the girl I long for by my side. I'm here to tell you what's not cool. Birds are not cool. Huh? Horizontal stripes are not cool. What? And crossbody purses are not cool. <gasps> Why did you let this Eliza and her fashion video get to you? I know I didn't raise you to go off and try to be like everybody else. I, I don't know. I just, I got so caught up in appearances. I just, I wanted to feel like I'm at least a little cool. I know that feeling. You gotta flex on them sometimes, right? Listen, baby, no one else can tell you what you should or shouldn't be wearing. You decide that for yourself. You've got your own unique style on it. Be proud of it. Be the you that you want to be. I need to ask you a favor. Would it be possible for me to spend the night at your house? My house? Uh, isn't it a school night? It's just that I forgot to grab my keys this morning and now I'm locked out of my house. And I don't really, uh have anyone else I can ask. It's super weird that he's here. We don't even know each other like that. Well, maybe tonight's your chance to change that. And if you're not gonna treat him like a friend, at least treat him like a guest. I'm sorry for all the trouble today. I know we're not really friends, but I appreciate you all letting me stay over here. Your family is so nice. Everyone gets along. Yeah, families. I know you can't choose who your family is, but if I could, I'd choose one like yours. I feel like my dad only pays attention to me when he wants to brag about me to his co-workers. And sometimes, I feel like my stepmom wishes I was a chihuahua. Oh, uh, a chihuahua? Yeah, she has like four of them and trains them as a hobby. So maybe she's more comfortable around them. I... I... I never knew you guys had chihuahuas or any of that. But I guess I never really asked you either. My bus stop is back this way. So, I guess I'll see ya. Hey, Jason. Why don't you wait with us? Are you sure? Yeah. What else are friends for? Thanks, Greg. Raj wanted me to show you this. Yeah, I'm a bit of an explorer. What? That picture looks exactly like Turtle Rock! I wish I could take her to the creek to see the rock in person. <laughs> so let's do it! She seems pretty adventurous. Ma. Jo. <gasps> Mommy! Oh, I'm so... Is... Is that? It's like the rock from her photo. Huh. 
I thought coming here would cheer her up. Now that she's in America, she's been missing all her favorite things, like the food, her whole community, her, her friends. Dad, do you think Ma would be happier if she was still... Raj, I know she loves India, but you should hear her talk about you. She's always singing songs you wrote and telling me stories about you. She had a wonderful childhood, but I don't think there's anything that she wants more than to be here with you right now and to make sure that you have an amazing childhood too. Number one, number two. Mane thari saate revanu kameche. She said I love you. I think she said a, a little more than that, but. Aww. Wow. I could watch him jump all day. It really does feel like we've been watching him all day. Nah, it's only. 6 30? We're late for dinner! The other day was daylight savings! She didn't turn the clocks ahead. That's why we were late! I just don't understand why she'd leave. Where else would she go? I'm supposed to help everyone know when it's dinner, but I, I forgot to change the clocks and, and everyone got in trouble. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. You made one mistake. We tried being the timekeeper and we made tons of mistakes. Being the timekeeper is a heavy responsibility. As heavy as carrying that tuba around. It's a sousaphone. The point is, you're important to everyone at the creek. We should have let you know that. Thanks. <laughs> 